Well, I'm at the trailer deer dealer in uh, Kitchener because I want to make more money. Can you blame me? Like a 53 flat with two axles is great. Uh, the problem is that shippers that uh, request 53 flats don't want to pay, you know, too much for them. So I'm looking at some of these here. Uh, Load King uh, is a good brand. It's made in Canada, so it's probably it's not available in the uh, in US. So I just stopped by to take a look. Uh, how's the quality? Now that will be my will be my next trailer or additional trailer to what I have now. See, this is good. Uh, wide load uh, light. This is not too good because you cannot put all the uh, strap in here. You'll have to deal with five or ten feet of extra strap. But I like this one. See how they break the uh, uh, the rub rail. Now I figure this is probably the upper deck is probably what twelve feet, eleven. All right, eleven. And I know some guys like to have the upper deck as small as possible and uh, I almost uh, got my first step that put the 10 feet on the upper deck believe me it does not work it's basically you need to have enough space to put uh, some heavy load on the on, on the on the top here so actually I know a guy in the States he runs with a step that has 12 feet on the top and I know after I, I drove my first step deck I know why now another important thing that you want to check is uh, how big is the kingpin here because you want to have it as short as possible okay so this looks like this is what 22 or 24 oh because I'm not measuring to the center okay so it's two feet two feet that's not too bad because I got my uh, flat now with I think 30 inches and that's too, now this too much was. As you can see, it's a triaxle, which is great for carrying heavy loads. Wow, this is pretty strong. I think it's it's good for like 500 pounds. So you can you're not supposed to put anything real heavy on here. And these are, uh, I'm guessing, 17-inch tires. Yeah, 17. So why I was interested in this trailer because it's supposed to be only 33. Yeah, look, wow, that's amazing. Just like the guy said, he said uh, 33 and a half from the bottom up. That's amazing. So, which basically means that if you saw my uh, previous videos, of course, I don't like these tires because they only rated for, uh, well, it doesn't say here, but I know all these 17 inch tires are rated maximum for like 65 miles per hour, you know. So if you're driving with a heavy load going downhill somewhere, it's it's real tricky. So another drawback of these small tires, believe it or not, is the is that the deck is that low. Like on the one hand, of course, it's great, but on the other hand, it's not so good because, as I found out, uh, most companies that have that have docks, you know, for this kind of uh, trailers, they have either uh, uh, a flatbed dock like this high right like up to my chest and then they have a step deck dock and step deck docks are always made to fit see this RGN here like this one so all standard docks are basically uh, 40 inches just to show you that I'm right check this out see 40 and that's what all the all the docks are like that so if we go there with a with a with a trailer like this look at here so you will have 
a real hard time loading something because the dock will be up here you know you're like 10 inches 10 inches shorter so you have to put some some damage pieces of wood you know it's not good but I like this one this is good you know you can uh, uh, hook up a revolving lights somewhere here but I like how the trailer is made it uh, looks like kind of a quality product so these are nailers they call them nailers that's where they uh, nail uh, you know pieces of damage when it's required when you have some wheeled equipment uh, aluminum everywhere so that makes it light these are great I spec these on all my trailers because they have a very high load rating I think uh, what is it 6500 pounds I may be mistaken so outside rims are aluminum oh wow inside are aluminum too that's a heavy trail oh look how the cross members are spaced real close so this is a really really strong trailer wow check out the frame and these are these are slots or holes they don't uh, affect the capacity of the trailer but they help to save uh, weight and it's not too bad actually my previous trailer I'm, I'm just saying I'm, I thought I'm talking about the height from the from the bottom see it's one foot <laughs> so you do have to be careful when you drag this trailer uh, because you know if you have an uneven ground somewhere you can uh, easily damage the the bottom so it has one aluminum toolbox I'm not a big fan of these because I see guys to a couple of you know thousand miles I see everybody putting bungee cords around them because these lock these locks are garbage you know they don't work on uh, highway trailers these toolboxes if I were to order a trailer like this I would just order uh, a, what they call a dunnage tray like a, just an open basket where you can put uh, uh, you know four by four timbers and actually load king has See, a great I design to show you guys load king is the the only company I know that has this See, it's also it's a load king old flat and they have this basically open here and there's a, a compartment there it's a very long it's about I don't know nine ten feet long and you can put damage in there uh, the company I worked for before they had uh, these uh, load king trailers and this was great you don't have to worry about you know you always have damage it's great but they only do that on uh, on flatbeds yeah you see over there yeah that's what they do they put this uh, kind of like a fence link and that serves as your uh, timber uh, basket which I find is really important like I don't have that on my on my trailer on my current trailer and you have to put it on you know on the deck somewhere or in the dun on the or in the landing gear it's just a nuisance now of course these ones are great to make serious money you see it all spec for uh, uh, flip axle how come this already has a uh, license plate on it? Probably already sold. Oh, it's Trail King. Oh, jeez. I know these are very expensive because they are uh, uh, 75,000 pounds. Oh, by the way, speaking about uh, ratings, I wanted to check the plate. You can learn a lot about the trailer just from looking. Oh, this is great. See, that's where uh, you know uh, how much you can, uh, what's the best for securing a heavy load. But surprisingly, all these are 5,000 pounds. See, like steak pocket, uh, steak pocket is 5,000 pounds. And you see, they're all the same. Even uh, chain tie down and deering is 5,000. Huh, funny. On my trailer, on my flatbed, it's all different ratings. I know my uh, this chain in floor tie down is good for like six thousand at least. Huh. Funny. Anyway, here's all the ratings. 
and that's where this trailer starts talking to you. For example, you can see uh, the gross vehicle weight rating. See, 40,000 kgs. All right, so that's approximately what the 22 times 10 times 4, basically 88,000, right? Yeah, 88,000 pounds. Okay, what do we have here? Here we see what capacities this trailer can hold uh, in uh, like concentrated loads. You see, like in 10 feet, uh, depending on the trailer wheelbase, I think this one has a 41 wheelbase. See, it can hold uh, 57,000. You can put 57,000 of a load in 10 feet. And that's pretty good. Uh, so it is a good trailer. I like it. And actually, another reason why I came to look at it is that it's way cheaper than uh, Wilson. Because, you know, I already have my second trailer from Wilson. And they make the same kind of trailers, but their trailers are taller. Uh, the trailers with the 17.5 tires are at uh, 36 inches, so you gain with these load kings, you gain two, two, two inches, you know, which is a big deal because, like I said, with 34 from the bottom, you can hook, you can haul a 10.8 tall machine. And I remember exactly, I had a, I had a cat, no, John Deere dozer, and it was exactly a 10.8. And I had it on my uh, Wilson step, which was 36, so it was too tall for me. So I had to spend like half a day draining uh, air from its tires. And uh, shippers don't like that when you play with, uh, with the tires on a brand new, you know, $100,000 equipment, piece of equipment. So these are cheaper, they're lower. I don't know. Oh, and one more thing. This is a big deal in Canada here. Uh, a lot of guys are running... Uh, tridents uh, that are 72 inches. See? So the spacing between axles is 72 inches. So so it's 12 feet between the outside axles. This is the best setup you can get. Uh, maximum weight, like here in Ontario, you get uh, 57,000 pounds is allowed on this. In US, I think it's uh, 45. Uh, but your uh, gross is still 80,000, but you can put up to 45 in the very back. Now this wood doesn't look too good, you know. Aluminum, I think, is as good as the one that uh, I have on my Wilson. Look, the rab rail is pretty thick. Jesus. Check this out. The rab rail is like, what, I don't know, half an inch? <laughs> no, probably three-eighths. No, four-eighths. Wow. LED lights. So that's one nice trailer. Already, already scratched a little bit. For a brand new one. Now, funny enough, the sales guy that talked to me on the phone uh, did know if they have, if they had this trailer in stock. He says, "Oh no, it's in Chatham, which is two hours away from here, where they have a second shop." And he says, I'm looking at our inventory list. I don't, I don't think we have one in Kitchener, but go take a look. So the way these guys operate, it's like uh, real estate agents in England somewhere. You know, they, they tell you the address. <laughs> you go there. You take a look at the trailer. And then if you like it, you call them. And then they arrange, uh, you know, some uh, meeting in an office somewhere. I don't know if this guy even has an office. Well, that's, that's how he works. He doesn't even know if he has this trail in, in the yard. And I'm in the yard right now, so. And uh, see, they have a whole bunch of these. Wow, what Chatham? They're not in Chatham, so they have some uh, two axles ones. Of course, two axle trailers are cheaper. See, again, this is the same setup. Uh, I wonder, I don't think it's a 53, actually. I think it's a, I think this one is a, 48. 